Just the two of us We can make it if we try are you doing there my friend today we are going to be unlocking the ancient emissary dragon in dml because we are of course on level six of the event at the moment and we do have that level seven stuff that we need to take a look at soon but we've got two chests here i've got two thousand or over two thousand currency to spend so we are going to get ancient emissary out of one of them will it be in our second last or in our last doesn't matter Okay, so we would have had to open up every single chest on level 6. That's fine. I can do that. There we go. So there is the key. And there is also something fantastic about this. So let's claim this. Here I am. This is the hieroglyph prophecy that I touched. The one that let me talk to dragons. Now the Isis dragon has made it possible for you too. I'm sorry. I was a jerk. I was afraid. Like the Seth dragon. I thought you wouldn't need me anymore if you did this, but... But it's it's me who needs you. <sighs> Aya, do you want to spend the rest of this party with me, as as a date? <gasps> Aya ex Eliza. <laughs> Aya ex Eliza. It's been years. Oh. And then we've got Chrono Arlington. Ho ho, things turned out better than I anticipated, but we're not done yet. Come, I will take you to meet the Divine of Parties itself for our final task. And then, after that, we don't actually get to see Arya's response, which is very, very disgraceful, I have to say. But more fun awaits. Congratulations, you've finished all the rooms in the event. However, the adventure doesn't end here. If you open all of the chests in the rooms, you can enter a special mode where you can replay the last room, compete on a leaderboard, and win a special badge. And this is brand new. This is the first event they've ever included this, so it's essentially a leaderboard to the castle event. Uh, what a lot of people are actually doing is, rather than entering this early, a few people have decided to try and enter this event later to hopefully get into a nicer leaderboard. But since this is the first time we've ever seen this, we're not 100% sure on how the leaderboard actually works for this event. If it does work like, say, the sigil maps, maybe entering later will be a big help. But, you know, it's going to depend on luck and if it works in the same way. But it does confirm that you have to open up every single event chest to unlock that. So first, let's just enjoy unlocking Ancient Emissary and be very, very happy and proud of Arya X Eliza. Um, but Ancient Emissary is of course dragon number one as part of the Chrono Isis collection, which is the main dragon that I wanted out of this event. I would have to get a duplicate Chrono Erlang Shen if we want to... Uh, you know, actually see level 7, and uh, I guess I will stack up some more currency for now and then show level 7 separately. But now that we've done this, it does mean that we can go back onto the other levels, of course, and open up all of these chests. So, yes, open up all of the event chests, but I would suggest stacking up your currency before you enter that final tier. That would be a very good idea. So, Overall, I was sitting at 4 out of 5 on level 2, 4 out of 5 on level 3, 4 out of 5 on level 5, and apart from that I had to open up all the other chests, which isn't, it isn't terrible. I have seen some people that have had to open up every single chest, and yet that can be really annoying and it puts you way, way further behind. And that's also going to be a problem with the leaderboard event, because if you just go against someone that, say, got really lucky in the event, then you're going to be going up against someone that's been stacking event currency for days. So everything about this castle event leaderboard is just not particularly fair. It's just RNG based and then people who spend money on the event currency, yeah, they're going to do better than you. So not only do you have to hope that you've got good RNG on the the chests early so that you've got tons of event currency to use. Why is that notification still on? Ignore that chat up noise, please. Um, but you're also going to potentially 
go against whales and that's obviously not something that we like to do. So overall I would say that the leaderboard stuff, I did say initially that I am not a fan of it and seeing it in the game or the pop-up and the way it's described, yeah, I don't like it. it. I mean, it seems like a way to get whales to just spend lots and lots of money. Because on level 7 of the event, if you weren't aware, one of the things that you can get is an event badge. Which is useless, but some people want the event badges. You can also get other rewards like enchantment tickets and things like that, which I think is the main thing a lot of people are going for because, you know, we're all incredibly desperate for enchantment tickets at this point. But is it really worth having to log in for like the entire rest of the weekend and also, you know, just in general potentially having to go against whales and spend money just to get some enchantment tickets it's probably not worth it for most people um i can't see the great benefit of it personally but hey if you really want to you know go for that event badge i do wish you the best of luck i just think it's something that's going to be out of reach for most players but you know we'll we'll see how it is but like i said I am personally going to wait before I enter my leaderboard. So before I actually enter level 5 here and finish off this chest, well, I guess we can get up to the end, uh, I am going to wait and hoard the rest of this currency over the remaining resets and then spend it at the end. But I did mention before that one thing that you can do is if you do happen to get onto level 7 and somehow you end up coming first and you actually don't want the badge, you can still come back to these previous levels and 100% complete these. I still think that that's the case and newer players in particular, maybe you can get onto level 7 and see if you get any rewards, but do remember that you can get scrolls and things from these little battles, so sometimes for the newer players especially, if that's something that you need, I know a lot of players are desperate for scrolls for their new divines, then you can get a couple of those from this, but the main way to get the blue, well, the scrolls is from the blue map fight. So keep that in mind. It's just if you want to change your positioning on that leaderboard and basically spend currency, but not actually spend it on getting a higher placement, you can come back to these levels and put them up to 100%. It is up to you how you want to handle it and what you want to do. That's one of the benefits of this. But I guess we should actually pop our Ancient Emissary into a hattery. So we're going to be waiting a day, then Ancient Emissary will be ours and that will mark the first one of this collection. I do have just under 1200 which does mean that I will be purchasing probably Amino Uzume within not very long unless I save it until the end. But yeah we're going to get those soon and then we're also going to have to get Shooting Doji which maybe after this castle event ends, maybe they'll learn some things about how they want to change the leaderboard event. Maybe they won't change anything, but you know, they can take the feedback from this event and try and pop it into the second castle event, if they can. Uh, I know that sometimes there's problems with putting out those sorts of updates when we're mid-event, and sometimes they might want to avoid it to avoid actually destroying the servers, which they are notorious for doing. Um, so there's that too, but... You know, all things considered, I would say getting Ancient Emissary was basically how I expected it to go, but the final level was a hell of a lot easier than it used to be, because they have opened up the amount of elements that we can use, or, you know, just in general, the elements that are present in those levels, because again, before, it, we didn't have elements like Divine and Ancient able to be used in every single fight, and that is going to be huge, especially if you say come out of these events or this first event and you've got your hands on a divine, then that's it. If the second castle event's like that, then the whole castle event should be doable with that one dragon. I mean, in general, you should be using divines and ancients anyway. It's just if you're a newer player that doesn't have one yet, try to get a divine like ASAP. Probably Freya, to be honest and then have them ready as much as you can for the second castle event and then there you go if it works the same way you would be dead set if it doesn't and actually they've just used it to debate us then get destroyed get wrecked um but that would be 
you know, if they imagine doing that, like for the a birthday event, they open up all these elements that you can use for all the levels, and then in the second part, they're like, nah, you can use wind only. <laughs> Oh god, can you imagine what some of the, the feedback would look like? Jeez, they there would be some very angry players, that's all I'm saying. Um, I kind of almost like it. It sounds very, very cruel. Very horrible and cruel in a very disgusting way. I think I'd like to see it just for the reactions. Not that I'm actually hoping they do that, but anyway. So this is the event, and uh, for anyone that's not sure how you get onto level 7, now you know. But, ah, oh, yeah, Exalizer, dudes, I think that's actually the most exciting thing that's happened in the last, like, year. Maybe even five years of this game. Can you believe it, Enroger? It's, oh, ah, yeah, Exalizer is real! It's real! They've been asking for years!